When we posted on our Facebook page about Kroger ending its home food delivery service, hundreds of you weighed in sharing your shock and disappointment. In fact, many of you commented on our page. One person saying, I love Kroger. We don't have enough grocery store options in Florida. Another pointing out, I would think another major grocery chain could help lower food prices. Now many people are left wondering where to go for affordable food. It was convenience. They brought them to my house it, and I was saving money. So it felt like such a win-win. Local mom, Melissa Maitland, feels like she tried everything to shop for affordable groceries. And then she found Kroger home delivery. So when I saw the email, I was... <laughs> I think I'd, I literally cried. So. While there's no physical store in South Florida, Kroger opened a warehouse in Miami last year to begin deliveries throughout the region. When I compare what I could get with $200 at Kroger versus a lot of the local grocery stores, it's unmatched. Mom Tara Wallace also shared her disappointment to see the service ending. It's a time saver for working moms. Addressing the cancellation on its website, Kroger said in part, quote, Despite our best efforts, including the support from new customers, learning from other locations, and the incredible work of our associates, these facilities do not meet the benchmarks we set for success. Uh, it's a stab in the, in, the, in the gut, right? I don't have enough money to buy the groceries that I used to buy. President at Better and Qualified Business and Consumer Expert second. Paul Oster of... says people right now are struggling. Buying food for your family is an emotional reward or it's, a, it's an emotional letdown, right? So we have to be prepared for what we're able to spend. He says to keep your spending in check, comparison shop online at different grocery stores, shop your pantry first, and go to the store with a list. With no plan, and you're just walking up and down the aisles, impulse buying, you will be the person that is impacted most by this inflation. Tara Wallace says for her, it's back to the basics. I guess back to the weekly ads. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.